Hello everyone, welcome to some more Isaac. Today we're going to be doing Samson, I think. And by I think, I mean I know, because we're playing, we're playing Samson. You know what, we are going to do this curse room because uh, damage helps us get damage. Not that we want to be taking it from enemies, but you know. It'll definitely help us get through this first floor. So, hopefully, we're hoping that today... Uh, well, that's really unhelpful, oh my god. Our first floor is a banger or maybe the next couple are bangers I, d I don't know basically we want some good floors because i kind of want to go fight the beast which means we have to play good so we get our deals and it means we have to find some pretty neat items along the way however it does mean that since we're not under any time pressure we can kind of stop and min max given the resources for it so that means secret rooms, that means doing sacrifice rooms if possible, especially with uh, Bloody Lust. Yeah, I, th I, th I think we're good here. Uh, Cupid's Arrow is a good start. I will take that. Yeah, Cupid's Arrow was immediately very helpful on this floor. Not floor. Room. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've got lots of hours in this game. Right, let's check what's in our first shop. A razor. Um... Well, everyone knows how much I like this <laughs> this item, but uh, I don't think we can afford it right now. Silver lining, there's a... I thought that hit me then. Um, <laughs> there's a gold chest that we can get to already, which is quite nice, because this rock spawned as a fire, so let's go. And I... yeah, I love Squeezy. Gonna leave the soul hearts here for now, though, so that we can save them for the next floor when we can guarantee a deal. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it, because we don't have any bombs. Let's shoot all of these, though, as I say, we're not under any time pressure. So, you know, kind of best to try and get every uh, benefit going for us that we can. And Duke of Flies. At least it gave us a very easy first boss, especially with piercing. That said, he hasn't spat a fly yet. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, like, he waited a very long time there. Not that I'm complaining. And a damage multiplier, which is quite nice. Um, cool. We do have keys, which means we can go to the downpour. Which, again, feels relatively necessary given that we are trying for the beast. Sweet. Uh, Dross, I'm less happy about, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, if we're smart here, can't I get him to blow up? Yeah, it feels like we're not gonna... Yeah. We could've, but uh, it was not meant to be because I shot him the wrong way. I would go in the classroom, but again, I want to guarantee our deal first. That was not good damage. I did get boxed in a little bit, but we're, we're going to pretend it didn't happen. Okay, guys? Cool. Glad we're in agreement. Uh, yeah, I'll take this now. I'm really hoping that we don't have to take it. Uh, huh. Okay. Okay, this isn't too bad. And we get our item room. What have we got? Yeah, I actually really like Magneto, but see, this is hard because that's a decent item. But it's not going to help us with the... You know, I'll take this. Honestly, multi-dimensional baby could technically be more DPS. So I think we made the right choice there. Yeah, just... Oh, Soul of Isaac. Hell yeah. Now, my question is... Actually, that's not really a question. I was going to say, are we going angels or devils? But I think technically angels are better, even though we miss out on potentially getting a deal this floor. We're really lacking on bombs. There is one in the shop. We don't even have the money for it, though. And there's our bomb. Now we have to decide secret room or whatever this is. I think secret room, right? It could be here. It could be... No, it can't be there. Okay. Uh, let's go for this. Looks appropriate. I was wrong. Okay. Um, <laughs> damn. I won't lie to you. I didn't even see the reflected guys. Okay, we got a second chance here. It's not below here. Which means I have actually no idea where it is. No, it's fine. We'll cut that out. We'll cut out the part where I got hit there. <laughs> right, so the secret room is likely next to our curse room. By which I mean I'm pretty sure it has to be. But no, technically it could be below and to the right here. That's so awkward. There's so many places it can be. No, there's not. Hold on. Okay, it could be there. No, it can't. Curse room's thin. Okay, so it's got to be here, right? Sick. And on. Wow, okay. Um, I was going to say just money so it wasn't worth it, but that was really worth it. Oh my god. Uh, 
charge buddy. You know, we will take a bum because we're lacking. No, I'm going to take all of this just because. And Turdlet. Normally not my favourite, but we have piercing, so I'm less worried. That said, I don't like when he boxes us in like that because this attack is a killer. And sliding about really doesn't help. Right, we really need to get rid of one of them because if they both charge at once, they're going to be a uh, pain in the ass. Or if there's just one of them and I fumble it, it yeah, happens. Okay, cool, we get it. Hmm. Yeah, I still think we should go Angels. Um, do I go Curse Room? Yeah, you know, you know what? We're trying to be smart here. I think Curse Room is the move. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll go to the Curse Room on the next floor. Because we'll get the damage bo boost. And we can get in there early, which will hopefully, you know, help us out. Cool. Downpour 2. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. We've got respectable damage now. It's not great, but a couple of damage procs from Curse Room entry and we should be fine, honestly. Got another bomb. That's good. Make a mental note that this could be our secret room, as could below. To be honest, I kind of hope it's below. It could be below. Still on. And if it is, we can technically sneak into the um, boss trap room, which is another free item. Well, it's not free. We have to work for it, but Still, it's an, it's an item that we can grab. We can get that chest uh, with turning into the lost. So we don't have to bomb for it, which is nice. Let's check what's in here. And it's a bit lackluster, but again, at the very least, we get a damage up by coming in here. And a bomb. Uh, yeah, not terrible. Now that we have a few spare bombs as well, I am going to check here. Ah, oh, damn. I was really hoping that was our secret room. Should still be above, but uh, I'd rather check the rest of the floor. Okay, there's our mirror. That's important. Okay, we've got a shop. Don't have a lot of money as it stands, but uh, be easy to get some. Right, if we just stand here and let our multi-dimensional baby help us out. Yeah, okay. I, I'm starting to realise that that was definitely the right choice. Speaking of making the right choice, I do think we should wait to get the item room before we spend a key. Because the shop, um, yeah, isn't the one, essentially. Now, these guys generally aren't that bad, but I do find they get me sometimes, which is a little bit frustrating. Okay, we can get in our shop now. Uh, ventricle razor. Isn't there a way you can use this to uh, get into curse rooms for free? I don't know. I'll grab it just because I haven't touched it yet <laughs> in, on this save, and I want that dead guard. Was hoping for a... Um, for a soul heart in there though, just for a little bit of extra protection. That was unfathomably close for no reason. So was that, oh my god, I need to dodge better. There's another one? Yeah, there's another, oh, he's a champion. Okay, his orbit in flies a gun and, ooh, Perthrow. Wow, okay, um, ah, oh, and these items are back, oh, I say these items are bangers. I, well, that scared the crap out of me. I do think Daddy Longlegs is, is a shout, it's just a good item. Right, wishful thinking. Come on, be the secret room. Oh my god, okay. This changes things. First of all, we can bomb him and a mushroom. That changes everything, actually. Holy crap, okay. Um, I think we use the per throw here. Because I, I don't care about the coupon. Or do I? It's better than ventricle razor in this case, I think. Just because I'm relatively confident on how to use it. Yeah, I think I think we do this, and then we roll the razor. Dad's ring's okay, but I feel like we can we could do better, right? Have to roll the uh, secret room, and that's not better at all. Dad's ring, it is. Uh, I am now worried for our ability to do this and not get hit, which you know maybe we should um, be ghost mode for the for the boss fight, for both. Seems dangerous, but um, I feel like it's the it's the right move. That's helpful. Uh, with that in mind, where's our super secret? Feels like it could be adjacent to this room. That feels like it has to be, right? Yeah. Imagine dying here. <laughs> That'd be really embarrassing. Okay, instead we just get nothing, which is 
almost as bad. And we have to walk all the way back to the white fire. God damn it. Okay, Min Min, I feel... Oh, God. The, um, the orbiting flies are actually worse than the boss here. I'd feel much... Oh, shit. I've made an error. I've made an error. Significant error. No, I'm goaded. Never mind. And it was worth it. Uh, caffeine pill. Go. Pill. Go. Look up speed down. I'm actually kind of okay with that. And what's in here? Active contrition. That is a health up. Should have taken it after after fighting the angel. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to not fight the angel. Just because I don't want to lose this health up. Because it could be pivotal in us winning. But it is time for the mirror dimension. Right, if anything... If anything, this should be easier now. <laughs> he just scared the crap out of me. Uh, just because we can fly over rocks and shoot through them. Helps if I go the right way. In theory, I should have probably used one of the rolls on um on the knife piece, right? That would have been clever. Cool. Now we just have to fight Min Min again. If my voice doesn't break mid fucking ah ah ah. Okay. You know, we've already fought him once. This should go smoother the second time, and it kind of is actually. And it did. Wow. And it tears up. Sick. Well, I hate this room. Never mind. Easy. And we have an arcade. It's very tempting to dump all the money into this thing just because um, we really want a soul heart here. There we go. And we got three technically. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Hierophant. Actually, unironically super helpful. Okay. Okay. Um... That's a goddamn D6. And a Psyfly as well. Oh my god, that's so lucky. That was actually incredible. That might be one of the best um, secret rooms I've ever gone into. Secret room? Item room. So flabbergasted that I don't even know what I'm talking about. Suddenly we're looking very good. Uh, also, I have no idea where our secret room can be. There is a... Whoops. Let's not get overconfident now just because the game's given us one very lucky room. Right, let's check in here. Could be worth doing in a bit. But I do think for now, let's just kind of continue on. I really don't want to deal with this grimace if I don't have to. To be honest, I can just wait for Daddy Longlegs to get in. Worst case, but no. Okay, we're, we're fine. And this could be our secret room, but I think it's worth checking. Honestly, multi-dimensional babies kind of pull in clutch at the moment. I did that in the dumbest possible way, by the way. Literally took as much damage as physically possible. But, um... If you make me tell you, I'm just going to tell you that it was, um... Because I wanted to maximize bloody lust. What I do want to do is find our secret room, because... Um... Is that really not it? I... Okay, what about... Basically, there's a good chance that there's, if, if there's an item, we have a lot of... Wow, okay. Um, could be here. We have a lot of bombs, so I'm just going to basically keep guessing until we get it. Which apparently is a strategy that isn't working for me. Is it this one? Could I have just stayed in the same room? Apparently, yeah. Wow. We still have a lot of bombs, so I'm going to... Uh, I was really hoping for a magic mush. And I will blow this guy up just because, um, devil chance, or angel chance, hopefully. Uh, poker goes kind of okay. Um, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of anything in there, though. I could go get that, but it really doesn't seem worth it for five cents. Imagine getting all the way over there and realizing it's a sticky nickel. How devastating would that be? Let's see what our last room is. Oh, this isn't the last room. Oh, at least we got a bomb back. This is our last room, in which case... Ooh, a few of these walls could be our super secret, and we only have one bomb. I think it's best to just conserve our bomb. Okay. I think the move is now boss fight, right? Okay, Bombino is probably my least favorite boss at this point, just because he tends to get me, if not with actual attacks, with when he makes rocks come down from the ceiling. Never mind, we're goaded. And we got an angel. Okay, this is big. Yeah, we are going to take this. 
Wow, I was saving a roll and everything. Um, <laughs> okay, we're taking mantle. This is huge. We're also going to roll the key piece because... Uh, well, we want another angel item and it could be huge. As I say, we've got to take every advantage possible because this is going to be a battle, to say the least. In before I forget to um, get the full card. Eden's soul. Ah, oh, that's really upsetting. Hold on. Stay open. Ah. Oh. Oh well, um, yeah, I, th I think we've done everything we can here. In theory, you know, we've got two bombs here. We have two chances to get the super secret. Could be here and I'm guessing to the right if not. Okay, well, <laughs> sometimes it'd be like that. Uh, do you want to pay out with a bomb? No, you do not. Okay, um, in that case, I think what, we take the battery and leave? Just in case there's something early to roll. Okay, Necropolis 1. So we're almost at the point where we need to... Um, where we need to find that skull. Okay, we've got a little battery there, which is huge. Or potentially huge. We haven't technically got anything to roll with it yet. But again, a secret room would be nice. Also, is there no music? Why is <laughs> Where's the music gone? <laughs> Almost on cue. Okay, that's it's fine. No idea what happened there, but I suppose it's fine. Soul Heart is much appreciated. Uh, we have enough keys for this. Is that a look up? I was about to say three coins was not worth it, but frankly, the look up actually kind of was. Pearson is going to make these a lot more manageable, especially if we take them out one at a time. And this should be relatively light work. He says, doing the most unnecessarily dangerous dodge of all time. Algiers is better than Haglas. Algiers? Algiers? However you say it, whatever. We will, however, remember that the Haglas is there in case we need to... In fact, to be fair, we can use it just to destroy the skull. We've boxed ourselves in. Thank God for the mantle. That was embarrassingly bad. That was definition of a rock and a hard place. Right, open up, buddy. This looks like a secret room, if I've ever seen one. Go on, drop steam cell. You know you want to. God damn it. <laughs> oh, that would have been nice. Oh, well. Um, Yeah, let's go this way. Or not. I'm trying to avoid big rooms if we can while we um have a roll. Well, yeah, so we can charge it eventually. Or more easily. Also, I need to keep a lookout for the, uh... Oh, wait, no, we're on the wrong floor for the school. Are we? Yeah. What am I talking about with that Hagalaz? We're not going to take it with us. In fact, I'm tempted to save this Algis for, um... Dogma. Because, uh, honestly, if you beat Dogma, you could probably beat, um... The Beast. It's not particularly... Jesus. A bomb wanted me. Not a particularly difficult fight, basically. Uh, a bomb for infinite keys is tempting, but... Oh, wait, hold on. We can, we can, um, that, that, that Hagalaz suddenly has a purpose. Or do I use it for a chest? Because, to be honest, we have enough keys. No, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There might be a room with, like, six tinted rocks. I mean, it's unlikely, but I suppose there could be, right? <laughs> and there's Battery Baby, literally saving us. Well, it wouldn't have been damaged, but, you know, I appreciate it nonetheless. Okay, shop. It can't be greed, which is good. And honestly, with the amount of floor we got left, I'm probably going to roll... Yeah, I'll roll pay to play. Pay to play? One less. What does Temperance do again? Oh, pills. Cool, let's see what our item room has. Uh, that is a re-roll if I've ever seen one. And let's hope this is a re-roll room. It actually is. Okay. Um, right, how do we do this? Because... Oh, it doesn't affect crawl spaces or angel or devil deals, so could be another item drop at some point so we're gonna wait for now i think if i was a super secret room where would i be could technically be in this room i'll see if there's an obvious one by the boss for now but i could be cheeky there right so it's not here which means it's, it could be in this room though uh i don't know i don't feel comfortable guessing in which case let's fight the boss we'll get a roll and it's the bloat all my homies hate the bloat Oh, okay, that's higher than I thought it would be. <laughs> but we didn't take damage, which is nice. 
There's our angel, and I will probably roll the wooden spoon. Jesus juice is good, but we can do better. Let's not take damage to a purple fire. I think we can do better anyway. Like, it's a damage up, which makes me want to take it, but, um... At the same time, if I can even get, like, close to getting something like a Sacred Heart... Or a Godhead... Yeah, I feel like we have to take that chance. Can this fire stop saving this man's life? Roll. Wow, look at that, it's infinitely what. Wait a minute. But we can roll again now. Okay. Um, Prism's... G How many more rolls have we got? So, a one roll is... Uh, three hearts. We can roll twice. Come on. <laughs> These are good items, but... We need something run winning here. Last roll. That's uh, fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're trying to force it too much, I think. In hindsight, I probably would have taken the Jesus juice and then the prism. Like, it, <laughs> it got worse. But everything was better than Breath of Life, I think, is the important thing. Right. Let's see what we got here. Honestly, I'll take that. Full health. It was the right thing to do. Look at that. <laughs> Love to see it. Right, is there anything in the shop that we missed? I can't remember. Okay, that's perfect, because I wanted this. Is the music broken on this floor too? Yeah, it is. Excellent. Uh, right, our priority is finding the... Oh, hello. Yo, personal space. Our priority is finding the... Our priority is finding the, um, the skull with the cross on it. Because if I forget that, it's all over. You know, I think we take Explosivo. Other than the chance to hurt yourself, it's actually kind of a good item. Um, the you know actually in in the in the <laughs> hopes of not fucking up the beast fight, let's let's go get that sorted now. We can also check all of these because they are free. Um, yeah, let's hope we let's let's hope for a final angel deal. We do have quite a few re rolls on the floor, so we do need to find our secret room and use this uh, judgment card. Sweet, uh, this doesn't particularly matter, so we'll take this. We didn't get our deal, which is a bit of a shame, but we go fool out now. The fool. Pop this in Pop this in here. That, that scared me for a second. I was like, why is it not working? Because we have quite a few rolls and we have a chance to do something excellent here. Okay. Sweet. Right, before we do anything else. I wanted to give me nothing but red chests. Holy crap. All of these. To be fair, these could have items. And that soul heart does make me want to... Poor guy. The soul hearts make me want to use the sacrifice room is what I was going to say. Uh, doesn't have an item. Okay, looks like we're rolling for one. Also, I will take this because it's slightly better for us, I think. Well, that answers that question. Uh, it turns out we're not rolling anymore. Because Sacred Orb is, you know, just incredible. That said, we have a lot of red hearts around and a lot of, and we have some soul hearts. So I think we're going to, I think it would be a waste not to. Especially because we can still kill both, um, we can kill both angels. This changes things. Does it? Does this change things? That's a good item, but, oh, I wish I could blow him up. Okay. Can I explosive him? I don't think I can. No, I don't think I can. In that case, we will roll. Yeah, honestly, I'll take this over that just because it, yeah, makes us fly. Right. Item, please. Okay. That's something. We'll pick it up to get the um, dead god progression. Then all we have to do is... Oh, no, spawn the, spawn the guy to get blown up. Okay, cool. There we go. We're going to spawn both angels to get both pieces. Except we're not going to pick up the pieces, obviously. What we're not going to do is accidentally go to the dark room, which I saw my friend do once. So we'll stay firmly over this side. Sweet. Okay. Now we just have to get hurt purposely, which is going to be relatively easy. Rune bag's good. Three dollar bills interesting. Everything jar is good, but we have a D6. I think we can do better. 
Again, very lackluster, especially if we had rock bottom, sure, but I, I don't want to lose any more damage. We are very much not great on damage. Okay, hold on. These are all good. Scapula's broken and could save our life. Analog stick is just a tears up, but we can't get any more tears. But parasitoid. Parasitoid? Parasitoid. Whatever. Is just good. Uh, Ace of Diamonds. See, what I am thinking now is we physically can't take the um, take the algiers and our red cracked key thing. So I think what we do is just head on down and use this for a free room. Cool. Well, we're locked in now, which is fine. Hate these rooms. I oh, I left the soul heart as well. That's gutting. I'm a stupid idiot. That's okay, right. Ha! <laughs> no. However, I will roll it. So, thing is, nine lives is good. However, we will lose all of our health. And also, I would rather lose our one chance than be stuck fighting the beasts over and over again in, like, purgatory and have to die nine times. So, what we are going to do is roll this. Ares, uh, it's a speed up. I'm okay with our speed currently. We'd, speed isn't the issue. We do have a shop though. Don't be greed. Sweet. Sharp plug is incredible. And so that's a forced roll if we have to, which is big. Nope, stop it. Okay. I hate these guys with everything. Every fiber of my being. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out what's in our secret room in a second as we get teleported up here. Uh, you know, I'll just blow him from this side. I want to save the rolls. Doesn't seem to have mattered, but um, I suppose technically you can drop something. Money. It is, I guess. I suppose we have Ares. Ares is better than Maggie's bow in this case, though. Polydactyly would have been good a few floors ago. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take it because I. Honestly, I'll take it over that. What's up, Hill? No, screw it. I'm drowsy's good. I'm not mad at that. Okay, our super secret contains... Great, nothing of worth. Do we have a card lying around anywhere? We do technically have this. It's a full card. Uh, oh, wait, isn't that really good? Would that not take us to... We've got two... You know what? Yeah. I, I don't think... Uh, technically, we could have forced another few rolls, actually. I've just realized we have my, uh, habit. But, you know, I'm, I'm okay with the speed up, too. Wow, we would have got hella rolls. Holy shit. Okay, wow. <laughs> Don't I... Haven't I learned my lesson? Um, you know what? Fuck it, we'll take lighter as well. Anything else we want? No, I think that's it, isn't it? And we took this, didn't we? Yeah. To be fair, I always forget that I can leave that and it'll, um, it'll become visible if we come back. I need to remember we have an Ace of Diamonds just for these more difficult rooms. I say these more difficult rooms. This one isn't particularly hard. Okay, so we're finally home. Just realised I've run out of keys. Oh, there's our battery. Not that it's very in useful now, but I digress. Get our dude with a cool haircut. Awesome. Right, now the real question is strength now or strength later, and I think it's strength later, just because we'll get more use out of it. Yeah, I think despite having kind of lackluster damage, we're actually kind of fine. Also, Sci-Fly is going to compensate hard. I was about to say, am I about to no-hit the the first bit. Apparently not. That's okay. We um we can take one heart of damage before we become non-optimal because strength is going to give us more. Oh, I should be this way first. And Sci-Fly once again, saving my absolute life. Okay, that one was dumb luck actually, but still. And we got him. The good news is we get our mantle back here. We are going to lose a heart. Um, a soul heart just by virtue of using our um, 
strength card, but we have the same amount of health ultimately, which is fine, but more damage, which is good. So we did just lose our mantle in a really dumb way, which is very upsetting. That said, we should we should be fine here. The amount of flies and spiders that just shot off him <laughs> that I spawned was incredible. Let's go around this way. He's going to split any second. I'm pretty sure all those spiders at the bottom, can't they hit beast? Yeah, this just goes to show that stats aren't everything, because we do not have the best stats in the world. However, we do have shit ton of uh, tier effects. And, you know, I often write off Explosivo as being a bad item that gets you hurt more than it does. But honestly, it's kind of carrying. Much like regular uh, war, he gets kind of easier when, when, he, uh, when he comes off his horse. I was about to say, please don't prove me wrong. Death is definitely the hardest out of all of them, however. With a little bit of good placement, we can get away with some really jammy dodges, apparently. This bit scares me a bit, but not as much as um, where he kind of teleports to either side and starts slashing at you. Okay, cool, and from here we win, I'm pretty sure. Full health against the beast. Come on, spiders, do you think? Uh, apparently not, they're just not going to, which is fine, because, again, we have enough damage. What I can't let happen is get hit by this laser, which happens to me every time. Except that with dodging quite high at the moment. This here. I always get hit by that. Also, does this boss feel like Castle Crashers to anyone? I forgot that they charged to the other side of the screen. <laughs> Skill issue, honestly. Almost got him. There we go. Light work, honestly. And there we go, that's a win. Look at us go. Well, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, maybe a comment, and even maybe subscribe if you want to see more. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.